buck breast with an orange sauce and asparagus. So for the main course, we're making a duck breast with a boozy orange sauce, cavolo nero and asparagus. Start by dicing your shallots by cutting them in half, cut them down lengthways from the root to the top and cut them into small pieces. Then cook those down for around five minutes on a low to medium heat. Then go in with bay leaf, star anise, thyme, garlic, and melt in a knob of butter and cook them for another few minutes. Now we're gonna go in with some orange liqueur. You can use anyone that you like. I'm using a Grand Marnier here, because that's all I had in. But you could also use a Cointreau, which is great too. If you don't have one, you could also use maybe a bit of brandy or even some wine. So pour in a 30 ml shot and carefully flambe if you're using a liqueur. Let it cook out for a few seconds, then carefully blow out the flame. Now add the zest of an orange along with 25 ml of its juice and hit it with some pepper. Go in with chicken stock and let that simmer and reduce for around 15 to 20 minutes. Then give it a taste to see what it's saying. Mine was nice, but it just needed a little bit more oranginess. So I added in 25 ml more of orange juice. Then cook that out for a few more minutes and take it off the heat until you're ready to use it. You could also make this a day in advance. So here we're doing Hasselback potatoes. You could do this or any other type of potato that you like. I just chose this one because it's quite easy and they turn out really nice. So you're gonna wanna use small or medium potatoes and then get a wooden spoon on either side of it and carefully cut down the potato to the spoon in about one centimeter increments. Then flip it halfway and cut down to the other side. You should be left with a potato which has these nice little ridges, but it's still fully intact. Then brush the potatoes with oil and season them with salt and pepper and cook them in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius fan assisted for around 35 to 40 minutes. While that cooks, get your duck out of the fridge and pat them dry with some kitchen roll. Now carefully score the fat with a really sharp knife and then go on the opposite side creating a crosshatch pattern on the top of the fat. You want to be just cutting the fat, not into the meat underneath which is what I did on the first up breast because I had just sharpened this knife and cut in a little bit too deep, cutting into the meat because I underestimated how sharp the actual knife had gotten. So try to avoid that. Also, if you are worried about scoring the fat, you can just leave it. It makes it look a little bit nicer and renders out a little bit more fat, but it's still gonna taste banging. Now season them all over with salt, Chinese five spice and pepper. Before you cook the duck, heat up your sauce again, give it one more taste just to check you're happy with it and then adjust the seasonings if you need to. Then take out the bay leaf, star anise and blend the sauce until it's smooth. Pour it into a pot so it's ready to heat up before you serve it. Now back to the potatoes. I made an oil mixture with dried herbs and crushed garlic. So brush that all over the potatoes. You'll notice the ridges are now more open, so it should be easier to get the garlicky bits in there. Then cook those for another 10 to 15 minutes until the tops are crispy and the inside is nice and soft. Now put the duck breast into a cold pan. Yes, a completely cold pan and turn it on to a low heat. Make sure all of the fat is in contact with the pan, then slowly turn up the temperature to a medium to render out the fat. You should see loads of it coming out of the duck. Then once the skin is starting to brown, they should take around five to six minutes, flip over and sear the other side of the duck for around one to two minutes whilst adding rosemary and garlic and basting the duck. Now put the duck skin side down onto a tray, which you have preheated in the oven along with the aromatics and cook those for around six to eight minutes. For a pink in the middle, I did these for around seven minutes. While that's cooking in the oven, prepare your veg. I fried off asparagus until it was going tender for around three minutes then added in Cavallero Nero. You could also use kale or cabbage, which would be good too. Then go in with some butter and give it a really good season, and that's how you make your veg taste banging. Just leave that on a low heat until you're ready to serve it. Then take out your duck. It should still feel slightly bouncy. Then leave it to rest for around five to 10 minutes. Then heat your sauce up and finish it with some butter and any resting juices that come out of the duck. Then finally, take out your potatoes and everything should be ready to go and to be plated up. So spoon your sauce into the center, place your asparagus at an angle and your cavolo nero to the side. Slice your duck at an angle into three or four slices. For me, that's perfect. Then lay it on top of the veg, serve your potatoes on the side and there you have a beauty of a Valentine's main course. Duck breast is banging, cooked to perfection, sauce is amazing. Don't forget to enjoy it with a nice glass of wine. Is that cringe?